It seems like every time you turn on the news, there's another germ outbreak. E. coli in your romaine, salmonella in your spinach. It just never ends. And it's unfortunate because those outbreaks always seem to hit the healthiest foods out there. Leafy greens, foods you just shouldn't skip. And that's why I put together this video today to share a few of my favorite alternative salad greens that aren't spinach and romaine. Because even though the great romaine scare of 2018 is thankfully over, you never know what'll come up next. So I wanna make sure you're ready 100% of the time. First, my most common alternative green is arugula. The good news, you can find it at just about any well-stocked grocery store, making it a fantastic go-to option for just about anyone. And believe it or not, arugula is actually a member of the cruciferous vegetable family. So it's a powerful source of important phytonutrients shown to support lasting health. In fact, cruciferous veggies have been linked to everything from weight loss to disease prevention to improved longevity, which is why I suggest most people eat some kind of cruciferous veggie every single day, whether it's broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, or arugula. Plus, arugula's got a great peppery flavor that adds a little bite to your salad. Whether you use it on its own, like I do, or mix it in with one of the milder greens I'll mention in just a minute. You can even use it to make pesto. It blends really nicely with walnuts and pecorino cheese for a punchy sauce. But if you're not looking for a really punchy green, try my second alternative, salad green, butter lettuce. Now, I know it doesn't sound healthy. I mean, it has butter in its name. But butter lettuce, also known as bib lettuce or Boston lettuce, is actually great for you. Like most leafy greens, it's really high in fiber to keep your digestion smooth and your gut bugs happy. And it's an outstanding source of vitamins A and K. So it's actually essential for keeping your bones, blood, and even eyesight in top shape. But what do you do with butter lettuce? Well, like I said, it's got a really mild flavor, kind of like romaine but the leaves are a little silkier and more delicate. You can use it in just about any dish that you'd use romaine or iceberg lettuce in. Oh, from a morning smoothie to a lunchtime salad with plenty of olive oil, of course. Just stay away from heavier dressings. The leaves are pretty delicate. Or if you wanna make something with a heavy dressing like Caesar or ranch dressing right here on my YouTube channel, up for my third alternative salad green, kale. Now, this one's gone mainstream, and for good reason. It's hearty, it's affordable, and the flavor isn't too overpowering. So it's no wonder kale salads are popping up on every restaurant menu all over the place. And personally, I think that's a fantastic trend. You see, like arugula and like the next green I'll talk about, it's a cruciferous veggie. So kale is loaded with powerful compounds with disease-fighting potential. Plus, it's one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. And among other things, it's loaded with vitamin C. So the next time you feel a cold coming on, don't reach for a glass of sugary orange juice. Reach for a salad instead. But Dr. Gundry, raw kale is so tough, I'll be chewing my salad for days. Well, it's true. Unless you prepare your kale properly, it can be pretty tough. But the good news is tenderizing kale is easy. All you have to do is remove the stems from your kale and shred the leaves into bite-sized pieces. Then you toss them in a bowl with a pinch of sea salt, some olive oil, and the juice of half a lemon. Now, wash your hands, then give your kale a massage. After 30 seconds, you'll have delicious tender kale that's perfect for eating raw. Sure, it doesn't have the crisp crunch that romaine or iceberg does, but you guessed it, I've got another option for folks who love crunchy greens. In fact, I've got two for the price of one, cabbage and their miniature counterpart, Cousins Brussels sprouts. You've probably eaten raw cabbage before. It's the main ingredient in coleslaw after all. 
But in my opinion, people don't use enough cabbage in other salads. And that's just a shame because it adds that great refreshing crunch to a salad. It has a nice neutral flavor and it's sturdy enough to hold up to just about any dressing. Personally, I like to shave cabbage or Brussels sprouts really finely and then toss them with a lemony vinaigrette, a bit of shaved Parmesan and some toasted walnuts for a ridiculously satisfying salad. And you know what? That's just the beginning of all the romaine lettuce alternatives out there. For instance, I didn't even mention watercress, endive, radicchio, frisee, or about a hundred other greens you might see at your local market. So the next time you see a food safety warning, don't look at it as a reason or an excuse to skip the salad. Instead, get creative, branch out, and try something new. You'll be amazed how many different and delicious things there are out there for you to try. And remember, always make sure to drizzle those greens with a healthy dose of high quality olive oil. Because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you and my kale.